the world's most amazing videos. Melbourne, Australia. Benches in their way. Ten horses are off in a steeplechase race. And bird can start jumping a camping bonus on the north slope. Sixteen hurdles stand between them and the finish line. In the early stages of the race, staking is up there. But two jockeys won't make it that far. They're a jump away from disaster. Twist of luck as they come towards the fourth last one. Worthy Knight's been joined by Burn Cat Star. Oh boy, the Galway Piper threw the rider high into the air in a heavy fall. And Twist of Luck went over the top. Rider Joe Hately gallops toward the gate, but his horse misses the jump. Joe goes flying, head over heels. He takes Robert McKenna with him. It was, it was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Joe is launched violently into the air. He lands flat on his back. Right under Robert's horse. So I was more worried about Joe because he wasn't moving. I thought he was dead. But Robert's horse is named Twist of Luck. Incredibly, the hooves missed Joe's head and body by inches. Both riders are out of the race, but they'll be back, thanks to a twist of luck. It's just a freak accident, and it just happens, and bam, you can't do much about it. That's life. Pensacola, Florida. Motocross riders perform daring nighttime stops. Sweet. Jumping in the dark is risky business. And for rider Clint Friesen, so is landing. Dude, man. Call 911. Call 911. The second I took off and hit the launch ramp and I was in the air, I knew something was wrong. I went for the grab and missed the handlebars. And, you know, by the time I realized I had missed the handlebars, I was already unconscious laying in the dirt. Other riders rush over to help. Clint comes too. But the worst is still to come. Let him, let him give him some breathing space. It's his left leg. It just fell, you know, out 90 degrees, hanging off to the side. Didn't even look like it was my leg. We need an ambulance here now. Someone calls for help. Yeah, we need to get an ambulance. Uh, we got somebody who broke a leg. Jump in a motorcycle. Paramedics arrive. It doesn't look good. A helicopter is on its way to rush Clint into surgery. But time's running out. And it's not just his leg that's the problem. The blood clots went into my lungs. It was like breathing through a straw. And it goes slower and slower and you get weaker and weaker and weaker. Clint survives. But his disastrous nighttime jump has left permanent scars. Being that close to death and coming back changes you as a person. Emotionally, physically, everything. And I really think that it changed me for the better. Oh. Taegu, South Korea. Overheated brakes force two truck drivers to pull over in a one-mile-long tunnel. But this is no routine roadside emergency. The 
trucks are carrying boosters and warheads for Nike missiles. Suddenly, one of the engines catches fire. The driver tries an extinguisher. It doesn't work. And the fire spreads. Thick smoke forces drivers to leave their cars and run for daylight. Inside the tunnel, the flames lick closer to the missiles. Then, disaster. The warheads explode. The trucks disappear in an orange inferno. Fireball blasts everything in its path out of the tunnel. Missile debris litters the road. Choking smoke proves to be a blessing in disguise. Everyone makes it out in time. Luckily, the weapons were not fully assembled. If they were, the explosion could have consumed the entire mountain.